This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoner, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? You'll reclaim your homeworld someday, Tally. If your father can't help you, I will. Taking back our planet would only be the beginning. We'd have to cannibalize our fleet to rebuild cities and infrastructure. It would take generations of gene therapy to readapt our immune system so we could live without suits again. We'd be adapting our entire culture. Again. Sometimes I wonder if it's actually worth it. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. Come on. No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me. Hey, hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. The main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hanger 
people and Daros in see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we are ending this. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guess with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alarai. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. Han Garrel wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. 
I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Tally Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. Oh, it's this. Keila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of Geb. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I think you have the right place. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yeah, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Harkin. Who the hell is Harkin? He's CSEC. We work together, sort of. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. 
We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. with Harkin at CSEC? Yeah, he was a pain in the ass back then, too. But I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. See that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. To be spared the agony of a slow death is more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <clears throat> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! <clears throat> Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting.
Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedona's better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sedonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. I'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sidonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. And I have to live with that. I wake up every night. Sick. And sweating. Each of their faces staring at me. Accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, 
I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. Yes? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drow here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods. Selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Shepard. Laugh it up, Tolly. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the Keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. We better hurry, then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat, and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You, Mouse? What are you... Oh, shit! Krios, I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? 
children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything, yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh, shit, you heard... Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy and we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him, as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? I plan to improvise. No plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. 
If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I place my faith in you, Shepard. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. What the hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Bailey doesn't know you're here. But he will. After we're done. What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, uh, didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Goddamn waste of my time. How about this? You tell us the target, you never see us again. And Bailey drops his price 50%. Yeah? Can I get that in writing? I don't think either of us want this in writing. Alright. I ain't going to jail for the tadpole. And I do love a bargain. Joram Talid, Turian running for office in the Zakir War. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... you played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? I guess you have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name, I'll... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Udina doesn't hesitate to remind them that we earned our place here. But that seems to piss them off more. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. back here. I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just 
Just go on through, okay? Lead's apartment. Call yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Talib, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Colyat. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother... They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men, the Ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. go our problems are, they are something I can fix with a few words we'll keep talking see what happens your boy shot some people no one I feel sympathy for but there it is I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans but he can't just get away with it kid wants to make a difference give him community service community service for attempted murder what jury would agree to that none that I've seen this would need to stay out of the judiciary, strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. What made you decide to become an assassin? I was asked to become one. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. 
You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances on the My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing.
clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. You know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gadatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. What do the women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without Clan Leader Yuta's approval. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. 
It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained barren, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant a flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords. But you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? Vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. Clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bread allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Salarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack... Then Clan Werelock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Werelock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. <laughs> 